Okay. So somebody wanted me to uh, spawn an enemy after 10 seconds with a health bar over his head and then shoot him. The health bar should deplete and then the enemy should die. So here's my hero and my enemy is uh, this over here, little dragon, and my bullet is a fireball. So what I did was um, create a player like you would normally, give him the fire bullet, here's his bullet, he shoots it with the fire control, which is the space bar, there's no events in his, there has no other behaviors, he doesn't move, uh, he's a player, and my groups are actors, they collide with players, tiles, and bullets, because that's going to also be the bad guys. You could do this and say enemy, enemies, and then say, okay, enemies collide with bullets, tiles, uh, players, and that's it. I just used actors at the time because <clears throat> I'm just going to remove this. Yes. I use actors because it's just quicker and easier. So actors or enemies basically collide with bullets, tiles, and players. They don't collide with other actors, meaning other enemies. So that way enemies can move around each other if you were to do something like that. So I did that. I turned the physics off. None of these guys can move. Um, here's the enemy physics. He can't move either. Um, he's an actor. <clears throat> I didn't change any collision boxes. The behavior he has is the health manager. Enemy. I changed the name of it. It's right here under Health Manager. Rules. Health Manager. It's already pre-made. Manage the health of an actor. So it comes out like this. The starting health is 3. The max health is 3. You don't want persistent health. Check this box if the actor's health should persist. Stay the same from scene to scene. That's like if this is your main character. And, you know, like in Diablo or something, you have a set health, and every time you go to the next scene, your health should restart. We don't need to worry about that. Leave this stuff the same right here. Zero health action. Kill. This isn't going to work. You're going to have to do your own coding to get this to work, and I'll show you how in a second. So you just put this to kill, just to make sure. Leave these alone. Um, if you have some sounds, you can throw them in, but again, this probably isn't going to work because these sounds are reliant on this damaged message, and I do not know how to get this damaged message to work. I don't know how to call that. A buddy of mine knows how to call that. I need to find him and talk to him and figure out how he did it. Um, spawn actor on death. You don't need that. You don't need that. Draw the health bar. Click that. Um, drawing location, actor space. Actor space is relative to the upper left coordinate of the actor, meaning right there and it's going to draw it right above your head upper left screen space is zero zero over here so that's what it was asking actor space or screen space we want actor space so it goes above their head uh orientation you could do horizontal or vertical so it'll be up and down along the side of the actor or above their head typically above their head is better um health bar width you can leave that all the same it seems to work out pretty good um, unless you have bigger characters, then you're probably going to want to play with these numbers a bit, maybe double it and see what it looks like, and then just figure it out from there, as well as the height. You can change your colors real easy. If you don't like the colors they have, you can start it with red, and it can go down to just nothing, or start it with green and move it down to nothing, however you want to do it. Uh, but then you're going to go to uh, Edit Behavior, click that, and it's going to open this whole jumble of stuff. And what you're going to do is go to here and hit add event. And you're going to have an event, a collision event. And it's going to be, uh, I think it's a specific actor. No, an actor of type. So collision, any actor collides with actor of type. So you do that, and it's going to say when actor hits a actor type. So you're going to change this to self because you're creating it inside of the health manager for the enemy, and you're attaching this to the enemy behavior. See, here's the enemy. This is the enemy tab. This is his behavior tab. And all I did was added the uh, 
the health manager, and then I changed the name by just, uh, I think I just clicked on it or something. I think it's under edit behavior. You could change the name somewhere. You don't really need to. Oh, here's properties. Health manager enemy. And you can change the image if you want. Cancel. Um, so when self hits a, and you guessed it, bullet, see it lets you choose it. Real easy. So you have to make your bullet uh, a bullet. So you'll have to create that actor type. So I'll show you. You go here. Actor type. There's my bullet. And then you actually have to go in, and here's the bullet, properties, create this group. See, I created a bullet group. Just hit create new, and then make sure that it collides with tiles and actors. You don't want bullets to collide with players, at least not these. These are like the good guy's bullets. But if the bad guys shoot bullets, then you want to make sure that you have two types of bullets, bad guys and good guys. Because if he shoots a bullet and it, he can collide with his own bullet, he's going to kill himself as soon as he shoots. So you can't do that. You have to make two different bullets, enemy bullets and player bullets. And make sure they collide with the right thing. So see, tiles and actors. And there you go. And then, okay, so what we were saying, so create an event. All you're going to do in here is create an event. And you're going to say, when self hits a bullet, then you want to... Um, First, you want to kill that bullet right away. So kill, an easy way to do this, this is this. This is this. First actor is self, actor of type is bullet. So you just click this, put it right there. That easy. So now it's going to kill the bullet. So then you go to, there's the rest of it, set current health. To current health minus one and that's easy to find so you go here you go to attributes setters it's already on it and then you go down and here it is it'll already be here this won't be here don't pay attention to that set current health to go to math real quick because you're going to do some subtraction put it right there and then you go back to attribute getters because you're going to get the attribute. So you want to get whatever the current health is right now. If the game just started, it's going to be three because that's what I set it as. Three. Right there, see? Starting health three, max health three. It could be ten, whatever, and you can do as much damage as you want. So set current health to current health minus how much damage do you want to do? I just want to do one damage. Then you put that in there. See, it lights up. It goes right in there. Then you want to say if current health ever equals zero so you go to flow if and then you go right here here's the equal sign comparisons put that in there if you can hold alt if you have windows i don't know what it is for mac if current health equals zero whoops zero so basically every time um the enemy gets hit by a bullet it's going to do all this stuff in here. It's going to kill the bullet, and then it's going to get the current health and subtract one from it. And then if it's ever at zero, you go here, type in kill, and you want to kill yourself. There you go. See, exactly like that one. And I'm just going to remove this one. And now we got this one. Okay. So that's going to do that. And that's all you need to do. Now for spawning them, you go to the scene. Here's my test scene. And you're going to go to events. Then you're going to say add. Here's a little clock. You can say every, every n seconds where n is 10. n just means number. Every number of seconds. So after number of seconds is what I chose. So it says do after. And it'll be blank. Like that. Seconds. And then you're just going to put in uh, 10 seconds or 15 seconds or every or five seconds. So we'll do 10 seconds. Actually, we'll do five for the sake of this tutorial. And you create an enemy. And the easy way to do this is just type in create. Just type in create. And it gives you everything that has that word in it. And you're going to go, uh, create an actor type. And then you're going to say, what kind of actor type? Choose the actor type. You want to create a bullet, an enemy, or another player? Create an enemy. And where? at x and y easy way to find these coordinates because those are the one thing that are a little weird go back to the scene 
figure out where you want them to be. Pay attention to your collision boxes though, because that's where it's kind of deciding. So it's always gonna spawn the thing at the top left corner. That's always your spawn point, top left corner. It's never the center, the top left corner of your little, uh, your collision box, I believe, if I'm correct. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's the top left corner of your collision box. So right there is zero, zero. You can see it right here. See, it gets, it gets close to zero, zero. That's your spawn point. So you, let's say I want them to spawn right here. Here's the X and Y axis. You can look over here and you'll see it. X, Y, and you just type those in. So if you want them to spawn way up here, in this little in this little box right here, then you go, okay, what's the corner? 515, 33. But no, I want him to spawn in line with this guy. I want him to spawn right there. So what's the top corner? 482 by 226. Close enough. That's actually where it should be. And then we can test it. Ugh. Need some water. <clears throat> so after ten, after five seconds, after five seconds, uh, dragon will spawn, and then I'll be shooting fireballs at the dragon because that makes sense. <clears throat> the only thing that concerns me is a while ago I did something and. Okay, so there's the, there's that. There's the dragon. And he's there for a good while. He'll be there forever. There he goes. Dead. So the one thing that I was saying was concerning me was under the health management, when self is hit by a bullet. Now, this concerns me because if there's two dragons... Okay, let's test it. Let's spawn two dragons. I'm going to hold Alt. Ooh, no, let's not do that. Let's do that, and then let's go to the scene and actually put a dragon in there. Let's put him right in front of that dragon. All right. Now let's test it. And I'm going to wait for the other one to spawn. I'm going to wait for the other one to spawn because what happened last time is if I hit... I had it set to where I could hit myself with my own bullet. So when I was shooting, it wasn't creating a bullet because it was immediately hitting me and destroying itself. But it was taking health away from the dragon, which is weird because I don't have the health manager attached to me, but I think I had it triggered as an event in the scene. So I think that's why I was doing that. So I think this should fix it because the health manager should be attached to each one of these he's himself he is himself and the dragon other dragon is himself his brother is himself so see he shouldn't take damage from this awesome my worries have gone thank god okay well there you go that's how you do it and if you wanted to do a big enemy health bar up here for like a boss when he comes out you just have him spawn after a certain thing happens like after all enemies are dead or whatever or after you can just time it you know I don't know after two minutes or 20 seconds or whatever have the boss spawn and then also have him spawn with his health bar which I show you how to do for a player in the other tutorial the health bar tutorial you just do it just like you would but for the enemy same same thing and you just spawn it up here it's, I mean, uh, yours is going to be here or at the bottom, wherever you put it, just spawn it opposite. So if, if your health bar is up here, I would say spawn it down here. It's always opposite. It's always nice to do it like that, just so everything's not mashed together and you know, taking up a bunch of prime screen space. So there you go.